where you're not going to see the rim. Look at this wee guy that's came uh, say hi and all these ones down here as well. Oh yeah. Look at that. I'm telling you, it's the stress of getting this room done. <coughs> Joking. It wasn't even that stressful. Hello everyone, how are we? I hope you're all well. Um, part two of the room transformation. Welcome back if you're returning. Um, hi. Hello. Thank you so much for coming back. If you're new here, um, welcome to the channel. You should definitely subscribe and... Basically, this is part two to a part one. So if you've not seen part one, I will link it on the screen here and I'll also link it down in the description. I'm actually in my room just now and it is, in fact, complete. Completely complete. Just sitting here just now to intro the video so I don't give anything away. Um, and by the way, don't skip into the video and just see the room because that's just cheating. And also that's just defeats the fun. You know what I mean? It really does. You gotta see the process, enjoy the process. Um, anyways, basically, the last thing you would have seen is me putting the panelling on the wall. So we did that and then I pretty much just started putting my furniture back into my room and I was buying furniture, like buying new stuff for the room, like everything new basically, apart from my bed. So yeah, I was buying like everything new and I didn't wanna vlog too much of me doing that without just giving away what the room's gonna look like. Do you know what I mean? Like if I filmed me putting the bed in and like my clothing rail and my bedside table and my mirror and all that, like you would have, it would have just given away what the room, what the finished look is gonna look like. Do you know what I mean? Like before it's actually done. I didn't wanna do that. So I did vlog a little bit. I went out with my mum and my sister and Nathan for, it was actually my little sister's birthday. So I didn't vlog a ton because it, I was just, it wasn't really as natural for me to get out of the camera since we were out for her birthday. But I did pick up like quite a lot of more things, quite a lot more things. English? Yeah, I did pick up quite a few things like for my room um, when I was out. So I vlogged a little bit of that. I'll show the footage that I did get of me out and about. It might just be a little montage or something. I don't know yet. I don't know how much I actually got. I'll show that just now. And then when we, when you return from that, We'll get onto the actual room, so. Oh, we'll put that in the car first. Got quite a few nice things today. Um, that being one of them. Quite cool, eh? Yeah. I love it. Um, squids. Also got a brand new tote bag Ooh, for a pound. A pound. I'm really excited. I'm going to put it in my room. Still got things to buy though, so not quite there yet, like completely. But I'll show you when we get back. Basically, I'm just going to show you what the room looks like and then um, take you around in sort of like a vlog style and just talk about where I got everything. I'll try and link as much as I can down below of all the items that I got. Some of them I might not be able to link. I could link similar things. I feel like I've really built this up now and if it's not gonna like look that great then that's awkward. But main thing is I love it. I love the way that it looks. It's such a cozy room. This room is such a small space. Like my room is literally three meters by three meters. It's pretty small but I feel like I've done a lot with the space and I really really like the way that it's turned out, it's cosy vibes, it's homely and yeah I just love it so hopefully you love it too so yeah let's get on and I'll show you what the room looks like. <laughs>
So I've lost a little bit of light because it's gone further into the evening now because I had my dinner. But anyway, I'll explain where everything is from. I really hope you like it. I'm loving like the vibes and everything. I just think it's really nice, relaxing room and I think it's really cute. So anyway, we'll go from left to right. So you walk in, obviously you've got my bed right there, which I'll get onto in a sec. So this mirror I actually got from B&M um, or B&M's. I have a really bad habit of saying B&M's, but I'm pretty sure it's just B&M. So if you ever hear me say that, it's just, just a habit. I don't know why I do that. Anyway, that is from there. I think it was maybe like 14 pounds or something. No, maybe a bit more. I can't remember, but it's really nice. It's like a really nice size. Hello. And I just stuck it up with some command strips because I already was getting my dad to put in quite a lot of nails on the walls and we just had them replastered, which you would have seen in part one. So I didn't want to like put too much in the walls, but anyway. And then over here, we've got this plant. The actual plant my mum gave me and I'm not sure where it's from. I'll ask her and put it on the screen here where it's from, if she can remember. Um, but the little holder thing it's in, it's quite cute. That's from TK Maxx. I thought that was really nice. Um, the little basket next to it, again, I got from my mum. I'm not sure where she got it, but I thought it fitted the whole sort of colour scheme of the room. But that, uh, I just got like my hair products in it. And then you come along here and you've got these two shelves. One, that one's slightly bigger than that one. Again, these are from B&M. If you've never been to B&M, it will actually change your life. Like, I'm not exaggerating. It has so many, like, good things and such good value for money. Obviously, not the most amazing quality, but, like, you get what you pay for, right? And these were actually in the reduced section in a two-pack for £3 for both of them together. £3 for them, which I thought was pretty good. But anyway, I just popped some perfume on it. This is, like, an older perfume that I forgot I had. I actually still got quite a bit in there, but... Um, just for decoration, you know, um, and then just a little book and picture thing that I've had for ages And then you come to this mirror, which is, is this gonna focus? This is from TK Maxx. I saw a really, really similar one in um, From the white company And I'm just saying it's literally the exact same, but this one is TK Maxx. It's not the white company brand or anything I can't remember what the what the brand or company is, but it's just, it's from TK Maxx. I think it came was about 60 pounds um, Which is pretty good. I really like the size of it It's quite narrow compared to my other one that I had and I like love the round top in it I feel like it's like it almost made for that corner like I feel like it adds so much I just love it and I love it there I was originally I was actually gonna get like more of a vintage mirror like more with like the swirly sides on it and more of a vintage look but I wouldn't have fitted it in the corner I would have had to rearrange some stuff and yeah that just that one would just look perfect there so windowsill I love like this little section of the room I think it's so cute so this little plant is from TK Maxx all these plants are fake by the way if you didn't already guess and they might look fake they kind of look fake but they, I think to be fair they kind of look kind of real I don't know anyway this little dish is from TK Maxx with the mirror on it which I think like that's cool I think that's cool which actually needs a clean what the heck? I literally just got that. Anyway, um, this little jewellery pot, which I actually got made for me by Nathan's mum. She does, like, stuff with clay and makes um, little pots like this and mugs and she can just make anything, to be honest. So she made me that, which is really cute. And then I got this candle from TK Maxx. Love the smell of it, by the way. If you're going to TK Maxx and you see this brand of candles, honestly, it smells so good. It smells so much more expensive than what it is, if that makes sense. Then I got this vase. This I love this. It's got a little bomb. She peachy. I literally, I still obviously need to get stuff to put in it, but I'm obsessed with this. I've seen um, like sort of little vases like this on other channels and Instagrams and they're so expensive. And I think this one is almost like, not a dupe, but it reminds me of like that really expensive vase of like the, the curved butt the butt cheeks. Do you know the one I mean? If you've seen it then you'll know but anyway it reminded me of that and it was only £8 from Typo. Okay if you've never been to Typo I was thinking the same. I was like all I'm gonna find there is stationery. I'm not gonna find anything from my room. My little sister was like we need to go in and have a look. Went in and I found it. I got I think one other thing from there which I'm obsessed with. So seriously look in typo because the stuff they've got for their like bedrooms and stuff and like room decor like it's so cute this is a plant that i got from ikea ages ago that and the plant is from ikea they're like separate but yeah both ikea this one is tk maxx lamp is like an old lamp from ikea literally so old i was actually going to get rid of it because i just don't like the look of it or anything but um i was going to get another one which i still might like i might i feel like i can get that anytime though but 
Um, at night time it is quite cute with the light coming through like the plants and stuff, you know. Um, Cause it's nice, like a nice warm light, but I'm thinking of getting another one. Then you come over this section here. So I've got my fairy lights wrapped around this, but this, but yeah, this little round metal shelf thing. It's got a few different layers. Um, it's from B&M, again. I love it, they have loads of really cute little things like this. Obviously I've just wrapped the lights around it um, and they go right along my top of my bed. It's so affordable and I, I really like it. It's maybe not for everyone, but I think it looks cute. Plant is TK Maxx. That's something I got in a stocking just for wax melts. Old perfume bottles, coaster thingy. So yeah, just like little cute things um, on display. Yeah, love that. Bed, if you come down here, you've got my bedside table. Well, kind of bedside table. It looks really messy just now. Let me put that on. Yeah, it looks really messy just now, but um, that's because I need this for storage. Like, if you couldn't already tell I don't have loads of storage in this room so to be fair I don't really need it I just needed somewhere to put like my products stuff I use every day this trolley is it's from B&M um, I really like it it stores a lot and it's easy to get into like the spaces between each level are like quite big which I like just got my usual products down there that I use skincare makeup makeup wipes salt lamp is Amazon this little thingy like holder thing whatever that is I got that ages ago I want to say TK Maxx maybe um, and just little bitty things you know that I use on the daily and then you come up here and you've got well my fairy lights go wrapped right around the shelf and um, they're plugged in down there and then they go right along my shelf they're actually a separate set of lights they're not attached to one another but I got them in a two pack from Amazon I think they're only like a tenner for a two pack and I quite like them when they first came like it's kind of, they're kind of like that wiry um sort of light if that makes sense when they're not on you don't really see them which I quite like I actually quite like the way that they look because I mean I have them on all the time anyway because I just I love the feel they give to my room but yeah they're from Amazon I'll be able to link them below I'm pretty sure plan is TK Maxx no Ikea um these little coat thingies are quite cute. I think I just got them in like a book or something one time. Little plants, again, Ikea. This print, um, I love. That's also from Typo and I love the way that it looks. I think it's really cool. It's like the sort of broken up cassette tape thing, but I just think it looks really cool. Um, and I think it goes with the vibe of the room really well. That little mirror is from uh, TK Maxx as well. <laughs> I feel like a broken record. I do have other prints coming for up here from Decennial, is that how you say it? Decennial. Um, so I ordered like a small one and then one slightly smaller than that one and I'm just going to like put them on my little ledge thing up there. So they, I'll rearrange a few things when they arrive but unfortunately they're not here yet and I wanted to film this before. Like I wanted to film this like ASAP because I was just so excited to film because I only just got my room finished last night so. Hi, it's me. I'm just editing this video and I just remembered that my prints came and I wanted to show what they looked like. So this is, uh, it's really low lighting right now, but they're really cute. So this is the first one, just like this. I got them quite small. I didn't want like massive ones because that's kind of like the biggest one um, that like fits this space. So yeah, that one, really cute. This is a little quote, you know, you can read that. Um, I just thought that was a nice wee thing to wake up to, even though it's at the back of my head when I wake up, but if I turn around, I've got a nice quote there. You've seen that one, and then I got this one. When it's better lighting, you can see, like, this colour is like a really nice sort of sage green, and it matches just, like, the vibe of the room really nicely, so I thought that was really cute, but yeah, that's what it's looking like up there just now, so yeah, just wanted to show you that. Bed is from Laura Ashley, had it for years, it was my mum's bed originally, um, and then I've had it for years now, so yeah, I love it, I love, I feel like it's a timeless bed, like it's not going to go out of style or anything, I don't think anyway, um, and it looks so good against the green, like I love, 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 love it. The bedding and the throw, so the throw is actually from B&M as well, and the bedding's from Argos, I found a voucher that I had for Argos like when I was clearing up my room and I just there was only like two more things I needed for my room which was bedding and a light shade so I thought I'll just get what I can from Argos with the voucher so I found this bed and I thought it was actually really nice it's different for me it's quite like out there like it's quite 
loud, you know. But it ties in the green in my room and all the plants and everything. Like, I think it suits the room a lot, actually. So, um, but the good thing about bedding is, obviously, you can change it whenever you want. So, I will be buying more bedding to, like, switch it up. I've got plain white bedding as well if I just want it, like, more, like, simple. But I just thought it was quite cool and different. Like, I've never had bedding like that before. And it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I actually really like it. I think it goes quite well with the room. Pillows, I think, are all B&M. Again, I got them, like, ages ago when I lasted up my room. And then, when you come over here, also this colour is Tapestry Green from Craig and Rose. It's such a nice colour. I love how the panelling's all turned out and everything. So, um, and then you come down here, and you've got my rug. That is from TK Maxx. I literally... Have majority. I actually didn't realize how much I got from TK Maxx, but I love that shop. I'm not gonna lie, and it's cute. I thought it fitted really well in front of my clothing rail, and I, th I think it, I think it looks really good. I really like it. Laundry basket round here is from IKEA. Again, I've had that for ages. And then the clothing rail. This clothing rail is from Argos. I've just wrapped lights around, it, obviously, but um, so it's a two tier clothing rail. I think I got. It, I think it was fifty pound. It's pretty tall, it's like, that's the top of my head. It's like slightly, slightly taller than me and I am like four, five, like five, six. Like four, five, like five, six. But again, I can link that one down below and I wanted two tier because obviously I can get more on it. And that is how I'm st like storing my clothes now because I've got a few things underneath my bed, like in boxes and stuff, but I didn't want drawers, I didn't want like a big wardrobe. I just loved the way that that looked, to be honest, so. And then my shelf was up there before. I think my dad made the shelf, actually, so I can't link that. But the, the, what are they called? The baskets on it are from B&M. They're really handy, I've just got socks, pants and bras. Um, and I think they look really good. They go really well with like the clothing rail and the, the wood on the top like ties in with the room. So chucked a couple books at the end there, a diary and a, a book and then a plant, you know, because why not? And yeah, I like I really like the way that it looks. I think that the clothing rail and everything looks really good against the panelling. And then my light shade, like I say, it is Argos, but it's quite cute when it's on. It's like a nice warm shade. It's more, it's like a natural shade, if, if you want to call it that. I don't know. Then you're pretty much background at the door and then obviously I've got my um, jackets and stuff hanging there. I think I've spoken about everything. I think I've shown you everything now. Looks quite cute in the back now and if I want to film videos here my camera will be like that looks cute. I'm vibing that. But yeah that is pretty much the end of my room tour. I literally love how it's turned out. I think it's nice and chilled and relaxing. It felt so good sleeping in it last night knowing that my room was fully done, like finished, and I think that might have been one of the best sleeps of my life, if I'm being honest. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed this video or this, well, this video and part one. I've had so much fun filming these, so much fun doing up my room, and it's been worth it. Let's just say that. I'm really pleased with the way it's turned out, so hopefully you are as well and you like the way that it looks. Let me know in the comments. Um, whether you like it or what you like about it or yeah just all that I'll see you in the next one if it's not a vlog it'll be in my new room in this room right here if it's a sit down chatty one or something I'll be here mm -hmm. so I'll see you in the next bed bye